My mama watches this channel. Can you guess when them dishes get done? When did you say you do those dishes? When I feel like it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. You didn't subscribe to my channel. What is good you guys, this is Jay. Today I have brought you guys a list. A list of reasons for why I decided to live by myself. Wait, what's that? You hear that? Of course, that's my dryer in the background, if you can hear it. But besides that, silence. <sighs> Today, we are going to talk about reasons for why I decided to live by myself before I moved out. Of course, I've been living by myself for about a while now, a really long while. But I don't think I've ever done a video where I actually went in the context of, into the context of why I wanted to live on my own. Ever since I was in high school, from when I was in 10th grade and I started to actually fathom me being out on my own, the first thing I thought in my head, you know, as a goal was like, when I move out, I'm gonna have my own place, you know? Like, I didn't see myself sharing my space with like a whole bunch of roommates like everybody else. See myself struggling and settling for something cheap. I felt, I saw myself being in somewhat of a nice place, being by myself, taking care of my bin. Number one, I'm a whole of two opposites. Some days I feel like being loud, bombastic. I could be around people all day long and it will not bother me. Then there's another half of me that's like, I don't wanna to talk to anybody. I don't wanna be around anybody. I don't wanna hang out with anybody. I just wanna chill out at the house, take care of my business, do what I wanna do, take a nap. Just do me, unbothered by anyone. Reason number two. I have company over whenever I decide to have company. The one thing that kind of bothered me a little bit was when I was old, when I was still living with my folks, sometimes my mom would do hair and like, I like to walk around, you know, comfortable or in my underwear, you know, whatever, you know? I'd wake up at eight o'clock in the morning and next thing you know, I see like this woman with a bunch of kids running around the place at eight to nine o'clock in the morning and, you know, I'm not that much of a morning person. Even though I get up really early, I'm, I'm not really much of a sociable person when I get up because I still got to zombie around a little bit. <laughs> I'm about to do a video on this morning routine. I got to zombie around a little bit, you know, have some breakfast. I got to wake up. Last thing somebody wants to see when you wake up is a whole bunch of people you don't know walking around and there's space, you know? Plus there was this one time where I was already like not in the mood. I woke up, it was a good day. I went to the bathroom. Here I am sitting on the toilet, chilling. One thing I didn't know was the other bathroom door was locked. I had to use the other bathroom in the house I didn't like because the main bathroom was already be used by somebody else. Then next thing I know, I hear pizza patter, pizza patter, pizza patter, pizza patter, pizza patter, pizza patter. Boom! <laughs> this kid comes barging in, slams the door wide open, and I wasn't really embarrassed. I was just really, really angry. I'm trying to wake up. I didn't feel like being bothered. I was just ha taking care of my business in the bathroom and then some random kid comes barging in. That made me so hot, I was like, that's it, that is it. I was like, I'm speeding this moving process up. I'm done, speeding it up. Three, hygiene. I'm really big about my hygiene. Like when it comes to me personally, I like to stay clean. If y'all will check out my apartment, y'all look all over the place. Clean, clean, clean. I, ju I just finished sweeping, just finished vacuuming, got the dishes done. All my stuff is clean. Uh, if it's one thing I remember my pops telling me, it's something that his grandma told him. Son, you keep your dishes clean, you keep your clothes clean, you keep your trash taken out, 
you won't have bugs. And if any of you guys know me personally, for those of you guys that watch this video, I hate bugs. I hate them. Absolutely despise them. If I see a bug, I'll break my broom on them. You want me to show you? You want me to show y'all my broom? Literally, y'all see this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I literally broke my broom on the last bug I saw. I hate them. My bad. It's like a cereal break. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about running around asking my roommates where their half of the rent is. Everything gets paid on time around here. I have 100% control over the food and product usage. If I go in my fridge and I made a sandwich yesterday, that same sandwich is going to be in the exact same, same place I left it yesterday. Ain't nobody else going to eat it. Ain't nobody else going to touch it. My sandwich is right there. If I just feel like it, I can walk around here butt naked if I want to. Of course, majority of the time, I'm always wearing shorts. But besides that, if I wanted to, I would. Because I can. Another reason is because I have full control of the thermostat. It's always too hot. It's always too cold. It's always too in between. For, for some, there's always that one person that's like, turn the heat up, turn the cold up, turn the heat up, turn the cold up. I like my temperature being at a, the same thing all day, every day. Cool, somewhere between 69, 68, somewhere between 72, somewhere around that area. All this up and down always, it didn't stress me out, but it was like, come on, man. I have my hood on for a reason. I'm comfortable. Let me be comfortable. My mama watches this channel. Can you guess when them dishes get done? Whenever I feel like doing them. Hey Josh, when, when do these dishes get done? When I feel like it. It takes a really long time for me to fill up the trash for where I have to take it out. But if it's one thing I kind of hate it, it's like um, if I'm about to do something, if you tell me to do it, I automatically don't want to do it anymore. I've already taken... I guess this is gonna have to wait. <sighs> That's the one thing I always forget about South Carolina. Random, unpredicted rain. It was just sunny outside, darn it. Number 10, I think. I come and go at any time I please. Now, I already did this before because since I was a little bit older and out of high school, my parents were like, Pretty chill, but like, when the, whether I come in at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., like morning time or night, wh whatever time it is, I don't have to tiptoe in the dark to make sure I don't wake anybody up. Work out, eat, go to sleep, do whatever as soon as I get back. Because it's just me. 11, take this Chick-fil-A sauce pack right here. If I put it right here, if I put this Chick-fil-A sauce packet right here and I leave for seven hours and come back, guess what that Chick-fil-A sauce pack gonna be? Same place I put it. I threw in two bonuses. This is kind of leaning toward why I chose apartment. I have no grass to cut. When you're in the building phase of your life and most, if any entrepreneurs come across this video, you guys will understand. When you're in the building phase of your life, you don't have time for some of these insignificant things like cutting grass. If I cut out cutting grass, I got more time for stuff like this. Plus if something breaks, it's not my responsibility. I just did this yesterday. So there's like a leak in the top of my like bathroom ceiling thing. Or my dryer broke not too long ago, a couple of months ago. All I have to do is Burp, 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 burp. Hello. This is broken. Come fix it. The day of, if not the next day, somebody shows up in front of my door, which they did today. Now I'm about to take a nap now that they fixed it. Fixes it free of charge. Not a dang thing comes out of my pocket. Because when you have a house, Guess whose responsibility it is to pay for repairs when something breaks? 
Or, so I chose an apartment. Detergent takes four times longer to use because I'm the only one washing clothes. Hmm, funny how it takes a whole lot longer for these dishes to fill up. Zero smoking zone. Ever since I was a little kid, developed within me was a hate for smoking because my papa, he used to always blow smoke in the living room and I hated how it smelled as a kid. I hated it. I remember the first thing I said as a little boy, probably four, four three years old, when I first smelled that smoke when he blew it out and it hit my face. I said, I'd never do something like that. I just thought it was awful. I always had to walk around the cloud whenever I saw him smoking. No leftovers for visitors. Let me explain. Like this cereal I'm eating right now, I'm somewhat of a clean eater. Even if I do leave crumbs all over the place, I'll sweep it up. That way if I'm sleeping and I happen to have a little visitor in there, in here, there's nothing to eat, which means you can't multiply. If I had a girlfriend, now that I'm throwing out any hints, we have a place to chill out with nobody else to bother me or her. No little cousin to follow you around and bother you when you're trying to have fun. Nobody barging in your room. No random visitors coming over the house. Y'all just get to sit back and chill out. Hey bro, when did you say you'd do those dishes? When I feel like it. When I feel like it. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. He's right. Don't forget to like and subscribe.